Generic greetings and welcome back to another Brick in the Mall. In the previous episode, we went bowling. As you can see, there is a lot of people in here bowling away, which is, well, I wouldn't say good because if we go to manage and over to Bowling Alley, you can see it's actually making us minus 178% profit. So we're actually on a loss of 408 generic units of currency. Not that I would be that concerned because, you know, if they come in and the ball and that fulfills some of their needs and then they go shopping, then that's all good. If it keeps people on premises, then that's fantastic. But I don't think it does. I haven't had a, a study of them so let's just check this person here they've just they've just went bowling and where are they going now they're walking up here they're going along oh oh why would they be going in here surely they're going to go to these store this store here unless they're parked somewhere and nope they've just got in the car and went so they turned up they went bowling i made a loss and then they went home fantastic if we get more of that then we're going to have some problems well not really because we've got this store this is the game tea store i believe it was called something like that let's have a quick scroll down if we can find it i wish it was in alphabetical order there we go the game tea outlet which is currently netting us 17,844 generic units of currency in profit which is 93 percent just fantastic really this is white goods and um and like smartphones and sort of tech store and media and games and things like that so it's just making us loads of money which is fantastic anyway what we will be doing in this episode and the subsequent ones is essentially going through and making the stores that we just don't have so there's things that we really don't have in here so we haven't got a like cosmetic soap and shampoo a pharmacy essentially with first aid and drugs we haven't got one of those we haven't got one that sells bed sheets or detergents. Again, detergents, I'm not really too sure where we would sell that one. We haven't got a, a toy store, even though we do have toys being sold. We don't have a book store. Not whether we need either of those. Really what we need, what we're going for now, is the cosmetics one, which will go here. So let's just go to build and over to foundations. And I will place it right here. And there's no real size that I'm measuring out, per se. I think it'll just be... Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll cancel that. I'll go to build first and then over to road and then we'll build a road that goes along here and then joins up to here and then we'll have a like a customer car park maybe on one side or maybe a staff entrance or something and then we'll do it that way. I think that's probably the better way to go. We've got a Miss Sales Opportunities restaurants. So they're leaving because they don't have, they feel hungry and they don't have any restaurants near them or they are full. So essentially they might have been up here or right in this corner. Although to be fair that is, you know, roughly centered so you would hope that that's that's going to be okay, but, uh, well, uh, we've got 150 grand, so we've essentially won the game now. We're not going to be really going out of business unless we really do something bad or we get some events which don't exist. Uh, so the objectives really is what we're going for now. So it's turned a daily profit of 50 grand, so uh, the maximum profit we've ever made is 34 grand plus a little bit of change. Have 200 customers on site, we've only had 120 on site, and make a fi uh, 50,000 total sales. And as you can see, it's ticking up quite nicely, currently on 15,000 thousand and going up so this road is now complete we're going to go over to oh hang on there's something we probably want to do we've got to build and then we want to go to loading zone we want to place a loading zone in oh we can place it right there but it's right on the edge and i don't really want it there um place a loading zone there loading zone there and then staff only parking there and there perhaps that'll be fine then we'll go over to foundations and then place a building in like so so we'll have it actually how do we do we have a gap off here we have a gap off the edge just because we can and there we go and this will be our cosmetic store for uh, things like well obviously cosmetics but also we'll sell first aid kits we'll sell shampoos that sort of thing I don't know what you would call it. It depends really where you're from. Um, so in the UK, we we have a, a store called Boots, um, and it sells uh, cosmetics. Uh, it's a sort of pharmacy as well. Um, shower gels, hair products, things like that. Uh, dental hygiene, the lot, essentially. Um, you've got other stores as well that are similar sort of thing, but that's the one that sort of springs to mind. Actually, that's one thing that I really want to go back to episode uh, two, which is something I didn't uh, mention about the comments. So this is a frozen store. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, what I, I built this and said, oh, you know, we've got, we've got a couple of frozen stores around here that just sell frozen goods. And a lot of people commented to my surprise saying, I've never heard of that before in my life. Why, why on earth do these exist? I thought this was commonplace. I assume it's it's not uh, for for a lot of countries. Um, but in the UK, especially where I live, maybe, maybe it's a regional thing. Maybe it's just... Um, 
where I live, but um, I know there's many, many stars around the country, but uh, maybe it's more uh, more around where I live and whatnot. Maybe, who knows? But either way, um, yeah, frozen stars, they, they, they exist. Not the whole place is just a block of ice, you understand, not unless there's been a malfunction with a freezer, but um, yeah, the, the, essentially it's a... Uh, it's a store that just sells like frozen pizzas and uh, ready meals, and uh, it actually just sells like frozen veg and frozen chips and just frozen everything. If it, if if it's frozen, you can buy it there. In fact, they sell a lot of non-frozen stuff. But yeah, it's called Iceland, unsurprisingly, because you know that's that's the that's the name because it's cold and stuff like that. You see what they did there? Yeah. Anyway, uh, so we're still on a lot of money. Thirty-one grand yesterday, as you can see, money's sort of fluctuating up and down there. We've just done a bit of research, which happens to be, I believe, Road Network. Yes, you can see everything is currently unlocked now, so there's no real problem there. We could, if we really wanted to, hire some more people to build, and I think it might be the time to do so, because it's taking quite some time to finish this off, although we're getting there now. Let's just go over to build and then to walls and then we want to place a wall around here. This will be where we have our storeroom and we'll place a storeroom along there and then down there. There, I think that's about right. We'll also go over to objects and then to a staff door. The staff door will go there and then there, and then we'll have a double door which will be in say oh I don't know. We'll probably have the probably have the checkouts. Um where do we want the checkouts? That's the thing. Maybe putting them along here is a good idea. Uh, let's have a quick look. We'll have a scroll down, we'll find our checkout. If I can actually find said checkout, I can't find checkout. Checkout one, two, three three, four, that seems fine, one, two, three, and then four, and then we'll have a entrance, we're in here, there we go, and that seems about right, would be nice to have an entrance up the top, but mm, just a bit out the way, so, no, right, so, we want things like, um, we want to sell drugs, cosmetics, legal drugs, should be, should point out, uh, first aid, shaving cream, that sort of thing in here. And that's all on these shelves here, which are just standard shelvings. So, pause it, build, scroll down, shelving. So, we will have one... Oh, God, I've just realised how big this thing actually is. It's massive. Right, let's just place them all, and, you know, it's going to be a massive store, but I don't really care. It doesn't matter how big it is. Um, Let's just go down this way as well. Actually, what we'll probably do is leave a bit of a gap so they can walk around, you see. One, two, three, four and four, somewhere like that. And then one, two, three. And then we'll have this again, like that, and then that. So obviously we've got some gap there. In fact, I'm going to delete these two, because what I want to do, because we haven't placed one, <laughs> is actually place a fountain. Do we really want a fountain there, though? It doesn't really make much sense having a fountain, a fountain right there. I really do want to place a fountain, maybe there. Oh yeah, it'll fit there. Oh, that's quite nice. And we'll have that there. Okay, so we finally got a fountain in. <laughs> uh, so, we need to have um, probably some nice plants in here as well. Perhaps place them at the end of... Uh, actually, we need to find... Where is it? Shelving. Get rid of that shelving and then place it like that. So we're now pretty much copying what we've done before. ATM. Can rotate it around, which is a great shame, but we will place it there. Water dispenser. Mm, do we really want a water dispenser? Do we really care? Not really. Um, and we've got plants as well, which you can place at the far end. Like that, if we really wanted to. Which we do really want to, which is why we're placing them. There we go. Right. So, a sign. Storage. Fill. Bosch. Store. Bosch. Pause. Okay. So, we need to go and manage. And uh, G storage 6 is... Yeah, so we want to change this to G storage 7 and this one will be the G um, hang on, just call it G for now it's not really fast food, it's more cosmetics and drugs so it's going to be called cos Cosma Drugs Outlet. It should be Cosme, really, but it's it's that. Okay. 
So, we're going to change these top ones. Let's have a quick look. Household items, detergents, and bed sheets. Could sell that here, but I think we'll go somewhere else for that. Um, at the top, we will have first aid. First aid. And essentially copy it all the way down. First aid. And first aid. And then we'll have these as drugs. And there we go. Actually, there was a film called Lay Cake that was on the television the other day. Um, I mean, I've got it on Blu-ray, so I don't know why it was on television. I just went, ooh, I'll have a watch of this. Uh, very good film. It was um, arguably considered to be the film that got Daniel Craig the Bond gig. Um, so it's actually, ooh, it's probably about 10 years old now. But it's a, it's a gangster film. Um, and there's a bit at the start when he's talking about um, drugs changing things and things like that. And, and they're walking through a um, like a, this sort of store where it's selling like cosmetics and um, like ibuprofen and paracetamol and things like that and bandages. And it's all like like hardcore drugs on the shelves and stuff. And then it sort of pans around. It's a bit of a weird scene, but yeah, I don't know why. It just uh, reminds me of this one. Not that we're going to be selling that in here, you understand, but uh, hey ho. Uh, right, so I've done shop and, uh, soap and shampoo here. We'll go for cosmetics on this front one. There you go. And because we've got so much shelf space, we can pretty much do what we want in here. And we've got tooth care, which will go here. And then what I'll do, I'll, good grief, sometimes these menus are a little bit annoying. Tooth care. Let's see. Tooth care. And then we'll have... Shaving cream and razors. There you go. And then we'll have... What else have we, What else are we missing? Essentially, it's deodorants. So that's what all these will be. These will be deodorants. Like that. Deodorants. And then... What's this one not selling? Mm. Detergents and bed sheets. We haven't got... You wouldn't really sell detergents in here, would you? Not really. Perhaps... To toilet paper. Pads and tampons as well. We're not, like, we're not really doubling up on... Um, let's have a quick look. We're not really going to double up on too many items like i mean i know we've done that in here i know we've got like we've we've more than doubled up we've like quadrupled up we've desied up uh, we've got 10 times the amount what i mean is we not if we're gonna if we're so selling loads of stuff in one store we're not gonna essentially make the same store again but it's not bad having some stores with similar things because you know if they're down here and then they need to pick it up they can do that right so we will go over to a uh, zone and assign storage and obviously assign that storage there which is sorted we do need to set the opening hours to our standard eight to uh is it eight is it eight and eight it is eight and eight and we will hire some cashiers so we can see you and you will go eight to then there we go someone did point out actually that uh, you can see this here if they start to come this this chart sort of indicates that they start to come to work um about there and then go up that means like they start to come to work at eight o'clock when i when i say but that's that's weird because that's why 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 would the starting hour be there i recommend you set this at least what an hour before you want your staff to to avoid traffic ah oh, so it does actually tell you there uh, right so yeah actually what's happening is the store is opening and it's taking about an hour for the people to turn up why does it do that that's just a silly way of doing it you're not going to hire someone and say right you start at 8 but officially your contract says you start at 12 what? what? I don't understand. Oh well, you might be you might be in traffic, right? Does that mean I I I have to come in early if the traffic's uh, bad? Oh no 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 no! It's just just the way we do things, right? You mean you do things in a silly way? Yeah yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know why it does that. Oh well, hiya stock clerk. Uh, keep going. Oh that person's massively skilled, hugely skilled. Look at that. Look at all the skills. It's apart from sweeping up. The rest is fantastic. Right, so we find people in there. We will unpause it. And then we will have a sip of beverage first. Mm. Oh, yeah. 
today's beverage is lemon tea. Anyway, so what's going to happen is all of the stuff's going to get dropped off, as you can see there. And then we will start filling the shelves. We do need to go to manage, and actually, no, it'll be build. It'll be floor tiles. And what sort of floor tile do we want in here? Uh, maybe that one? That's quite nice. Nice cream colour. Oh, it's a sim. Is that one? Ah, we can't have that. Build. Um... It's a bit cold. <clears throat> it's more like prison architect, that one. <laughs> but we'll go with that. We'll stick with it. Okay. I've only recently noticed the, uh, like, the walls. See that, like, the walls change colour? That You get, like, this sort of... I guess it would be, like, a reddish, pinky hue as the sun sets. It's quite nice. Right, so Miss Sales Opportunities Restaurants again. We might have to build another restaurant. We've got 118 grand. You can see... We did lose some money uh, last uh, yesterday because of, well, building this thing. Uh, we are up to daily profit. That hasn't gone up. Uh, customers on site still hasn't gone up, but hopefully with this it will. And then finally it says make f uh, 50,000 total sales. It's only gone up by a couple of thousand. So it's going to take several days to make that go really up into the sky. Uh, what I want to do then is probably build another... Let's build another road, I think. Road and can it go along here and then down? I think it can. There we go. That's fine. Just surrounding that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've still got a bit of a dodgy throat. Right. So this is getting filled up, as you can see, and there's a lot of cosmetics and other things on these shelves, and people are coming and getting served. Obviously, we've got a total of four tills, but we've only got three people working on them. Not that that's a, that that's a big problem, you understand. It's just the way we are doing things. Uh, made a total profit of 31 there. So actually, this store has not netted as much money at all. Let's have a quick look. It is... Yeah, very little money. Net profit of minus. Okay, right. Yeah. Main category is health and beauty, but the main product is drugs. Okay. Either way, uh, we were still filling half of it up and stuff, so when people turned up... <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so, we've built around here. I want to probably put in another car park up the top, but do it, does it want to be a... Does it want to be a car park for the workers? I think it would make sense. Yeah, probably, probably. So, let's just see if this is making money. Well, people are coming in and shopping apart from that guy which is stuck. Oh no, that's our that's our mover guy. So, there is stuff getting sold. There's always people at this bowling alley. Look at that. This bowling alley. People love it. We could probably fit in some more some more bowling lanes in here, you know, but it would be the wrong way around, which would... Nah, no, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work at all. So, we haven't got... Uh, there's several things we haven't got. It's actually easier probably to find on the technology tree here. So we haven't got a, a booze store. We've got something that sells booze, but not a proper store. I don't know if we really want that one. Media supplies, yes. Appliances, tools, yes. Luxuries, uh, no jewelry. We haven't got a jewelry store, so we'll definitely need one of those. We do have restaurants one, but there's no such thing as restaurants two, three, four, and five. Um, or any other... Um, number. We haven't got a cinema either, so we definitely need a cinema. And we definitely need a... A luxury supplier, so selling, selling jewels and stuff and things you put on, otherwise known as jewelry. So we will build and go to. Hmm, how do we want to do this? I really want to make a longer star than a taller one. Foundations. See, this is mainly car park. But we're probably going to put the jewellery store in... Where do we want to put the jewellery store? This is our, like, big warehouse -y type thing. Well, not warehouse. Where we where we have one person sweeping up. It's a maintenance centre. So, where would be a nice place to put our other store? Well, maybe here. Maybe here, and then expand it along. Perhaps that would be a good, good one. It's not going to be too big at all, really. It's going to be quite small, in fact. We'll have it as 18 by 12, which is quite small in terms of when you compare it to the like the rest of stuff we've got. We've got to build and then road work, and obviously build a road straight across here. 
and then actually we should probably have shrunk this down a little bit or maybe extend it because we want to move along and we'll pull a road down uh, can we go over to foundations and expand it we cannot sadly oh no we can we can do that which will actually expand it very good oh that's that's quite robust then and this part here this will be our um deliveries as well as customer parking uh we will have the entrance where i don't know where we'll have the entrance where we'll have the deliveries over this corner and we'll have this this section here as deliveries we'll section this straight off we'll have a restroom and um jewelry so we've got to build road work loading zone we only really need ah oh, i haven't actually made it big enough it should be a little bit bigger that's interesting because i've made it the same size as that so it should be just one off oh, it might be actually it might be it might just be the way it looks so we'll place it there and there and then customer parking like so it might it might work out let's have a quick look oh yeah i think it does because that's the this is the base level and then it puts another like round piece on yes like that so that is actually correct oh but that isn't damn it no oh well i i, I might not lose some sleep over that or maybe i will uh we'll go to hmm, probably walls and then probably build a wall um straight across there but only once we finish the actual building we should probably look actually at our that says g storage 7 but actually it should be that just to be pedantic about the entire thing which i am at times so we want to check our maintenance center one maintenance center two how many people do we have we have a janitor janitor and a builder we will hire a builder and I will say you are coming with us, Dawn Moss. And you can start at probably 8 at night for a 12-hour shift. There you go. Okay. And that should hopefully get us building a bit quicker at night. We need to remove that tree. We need to finish this bit off here. And then put in the storage and such 179,000 currently in the kitty uh yesterday's profit was one third uh well it's only only 30 let's go to manage cosmo drugs outlet and we are making we're not making profit but we're not too far off it look at that we're on minus 12 percent so you know it's not too bad if we wanted to we could just place some more stuff in here we haven't checked our needs for a while but i'll be honest i don't even really know how to work um i mean it says like you know you've got um demand 200 but yesterday's sales were 65. i don't understand so there's a very high demand but we we're not filling it casual dining obviously no sims bowling and other stuff um liquor no soda so yesterday's sales 19 but the demand's 100. Does it mean in general like across the entire map? Yeah. Probably. Probably like fresh bread were, were well with no one near selling uh enough fresh bread. What I might do is place a very small building here and just have that as like a bakery. Oh, that's what we've got. We've got a bakery, of course. Um, right, so let's go over to build. We'll finish this off here and we'll check our objects. Staff door, we'll place one there. We'll place a double door in here. And then we will go down to walls. Walls straight down. And then do we really want to split this off and have a like a bathroom in here? Uh, we might as well have a very small one in here. And back over to building objects staff door there scroll down actually no, it'll be at the top and there'll be another door there and that'll be fine that'll be the uh, the restroom and such okay so we will assign storage bosch store bosch and restroom like so right so manage this be g uh, actually, no, 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 let's call it whatever for now. Um, this is G storage. Eight, I believe. This is G restroom unisex. And what do we want this as? Build. 
Where do you have jewellery? Hmm. What sort of things do you sell jewellery on? Is it tables? Yes, it is. It's that. Okay. So it's jewelry on it. Right. So build. Down to oh, we haven't actually while well, we're in manage. We will assign the storage. So we'll start bringing stuff in. One hopes. And we need the checkout counter. So we'll rotate these round. So similar thing again, we'll have like all of the rows along here and it'll be table for jewellery. So we want to have it spaced out because we want it a bit um, more I say browser friendly, like you would go around and you, oh yes, yes, and you'd be able to walk around and things like that. Actually, get rid of those because I much prefer to have a bowling lane in there. No, um, we'll have some to toilet cubicles though while we're here. We need to check though, can the sink be rotated? It can be rotated that way, so we'll just do that. And there's a the toilet cubicle, uh, not a urina, not having a paper dispenser, vending machine would be, oh, that's an arcade machine. Uh, we'll have a ATM in the corner and actually I think that will do us quite nicely maybe put the tables back in there maybe not or maybe you do I'll put them in right so that should be that they're done we will max speed this out and as if people turn up and obviously we're going to select jewelry 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 uh, I will pause it go to manage Staff, hire cashier. We want to have... Oh, there's a really good... Greg Flores, who's very, very good at uh, pretty much everything. Uh, we want to actually change the opening hours. Like so. And that should be fine. Hire another cashier. Just going around getting the best cashier as possible. Which will be you. Again, pause a second. So this thing I mentioned earlier about the... The issue with them not turning up, it says, have them, uh, it says, you send at least an hour before you want the staff to start work to avoid traffic. I could, well, I should really go back and change that. And change it so they, so they actually come in, like, later on. Or earlier, rather. But doing that would be a bit of a nightmare if I actually went down and... How to do that? All, all, all of that. This is jewelry, but do we want to sell other things other than jewelry? Um, it would be nice to sell something else, but no, we've called it the jewelry store, so we will just sell jewelry, and we're gonna have a lot of jewelry. It is the most dedicated store we've got because it just sells jewelry. Right, we'll max speed it, and we'll see just how much money this makes us all. Well, how much it loses us. So we want to change the bathroom tiles to that. We want to change this to a red. I think that's um, very, very nice. A nice sort of lush carpet. Very similar to this one. This is our clothing store, which was previously netting us a lot of money. Nobody turning up for the jewellery, apparently, which is slightly worrying. But uh, no, nobody's actually turning up at all. <laughs> nobody's coming here. Oh dear. Um, that's going to make us a massive loss, isn't it? Oh well. Peak customers on site is pretty high. Satisfaction is actually not too great, I don't think. Let's have a quick look at statistics. We want a total... There's peak customers, daily customers, unsatisfied customers. Big spike there, up to two unsatisfied customers. And average satisfaction is over... Oh, it's, it's nearly in the... It's over 80 so, you know what, I'm um, I'm not worried too much about that, if I'm quite honest with you. <laughs> I'm not worried too much. So let's just see what happens in this uh, the next day here. We'll go to Manage and 
check our jewelry outlet and see that it is made oh it did make some money look 553 and a lot of that day was us waiting for stuff to be placed in so we'll see what it's like uh, the next day which is now there we go people are turning up and but no customers we might need more parking either way we're gonna leave it there and next episode we will find out just how much money this thing is making or indeed losing us whichever the case may be and i think we'll build Ooh, what do we need well we need a cinema so maybe that's the next thing to do and we need i think like a fresh bread store like a bakery there's all sorts of stuff we can build but we will see how it goes as always comments in the comments thank you very much for watching take care and generic partings